name's Brogan. Lieutenant Brogan. For 20 years, I was with the NYPD. Now, well, let's just say I've transferred to another precinct. How are we doing? Estimated atmospheric entry, about 30 seconds, Major. Stay on it. You bet. Where's it going to hit? Projected impact areas, eastern edge of the bay and the ocean beyond. So track and chart every damn fragment. Hey, no problem. Most of it'll burn up in the atmosphere. I don't care. I can't afford to take any chances. Understood. Yes, ma'am. Heaven help us if we lose it. <laughs> oh, boy. You've really done it this time. Oh, no, <laughs> you heard me right. And Skiles, you barely know the girl. Oh, believe me, Mr. Butler, I know her well enough. <laughs> Anzer and me are in love. Well, in that case, there's only one thing I can say. Oh? Congratulations. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you got yourself some fireworks to celebrate the occasion. <laughs> Let's go take a look. Yeah. Skiles? Get the bales. OK, Mr. Butler. get to my feet. Okay, Mr. Butler. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. Oh, thanks, B. Darn thing must have picked up a whole bundle of static on the way down. I gotta admit, you had me scared there for a while. Jeez, what is that thing? <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, Bertha, you're just too good to me. What is it today? Our chance, too. It's good oh. and healthy, but only if you eat it, Virginia. Oh, Archins? In this heat? Now don't start with me. Okay, okay. Did you hear? The Gushins moved out yesterday. One day you got neighbors, the next, Lizarats. Well, I'm not going anywhere. This is our home. I know, I know. Here, for you. Oh, it's beautiful. I thought you needed a little color in your life. Peter. Who could Peter be? I have no idea. Why don't you ask her? She put that box of chocolates on her desk just to bug me. I know it. Not that it does. You know, one of these days, you and Jane are going to have to stop stringing each other along. Man's inhumanity to man. You know who said that? Uh, nope. Me neither. <laughs> Lucky thing with times. <laughs> he came by again. The new landlord? He made me another offer. Oh. Uh, sure is in a hurry to empty this place. But you told him where to get up, right? Well, uh, it's a lot of money, Bertha. Oh. Oh, I know, I know, you're right. This is our home. That's my gal. I'll see you later, Virginia. Okay. Excuse me, gentlemen. Oh, lady wants to get past. What do you think? Should we move aside? Ooh, I'm kind of comfortable standing here myself. And you? Yeah. What do you want? Whatever you got. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Oops. How dare you! Ooh. <laughs> 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 Do you think she can fly? Uh, let's find out. Brogan, Haldane, mugging in progress. Roten Towers. Contact a Mrs. Luton, top floor. Over there, Fredo. Look, there's no way I can set her down here. Um, you want to jump? Help me, please! Please, help me! I can't get She's getting me close. Please! Please, hurry! Help me, please! Please, help me! Right there. Nice I'll work my way back up from the street. Break a leg! Right. Yes, ma'am. Stay put. <laughs> Brogan, I'm with you. First floor. Working my way up the stairs. I got the 12. Did you get it? Oh. I thought I told you to wait inside. I thought you might need some help. Ah. Oh. Huh. Uh, nothing my way. They didn't use the stairs. Wait a minute, you're bleeding. Oh, it's nothing. Let's get this gal to ER. I'm not a gal, I have a name, Bertha Flutz. And it'll take more than a couple of punks to put me in a hospital. Uh, did you, uh, 
No, these punks, Mrs. Fuss. I never set eyes on them before, Sergeant. <laughs> All right, well, I'll tell you what, Mrs. Fuss, why don't you come back to the station with me and the sergeant, and we'll take care of that arm and get a stake, OK? That's it. I am moving out. I don't need this kind of grief. What's the matter? Didn't you finish your breakfast? Oh, very funny. She wants me to call if I'm going to be late for dinner. What next, the curfew? There's only one way to handle a woman. You got to stand up and tell her how you feel. Be forceful. Be direct. To my mom? What are you, a Creon or a wimp? Oh, no. I don't believe it. It's the beast. What? Bertha Fluss, the beast of Astronomics 101. One of your high school teachers? Shh. Please, make sure you wash and change the dressing every day, Mrs. Fluss. Is that all they teach you at medical school these days? Uh, she'll be fine. Nice meeting you, Mrs. Fluss. Ma'am? Silas Romick. He said you? Well, of course it is. Who else with that terrible posture? You know very well who I am. Sure he does. <laughs> oh, yeah, Mrs. Fluss. I, I, I didn't recognize you. How you doing? I always thought you'd end up in a police station, but I never imagined it would be on this side of the bars. <sighs> well, we do let him out every once in a while. Come on, Mrs. Fluss. Let's see if we can get a memory fit on the guys that attacked you. Wimp. Mm. Honey, uh... I'm in the middle of my work day here. Look, uh, I'll let you in a little secret. When I was your age, I almost didn't pass my own midterms. Great. Mom's still at work. What am I supposed to do? <sighs> What's Matt doing? Well, he's not helping me. All right, well, you tell him to help you or else. I'll be home as soon as I can. Matt, Dad says or else. <sighs> be still now and recall the events, Mrs. Fluss. Thing is, he's been missing for weeks. Look. I brought you some pictures. This isn't really a police matter, you know. Have you spoken to missing persons? I have. And? Nothing. Well, who's the other guy? That's his boss, Randall Butler. He hasn't heard anything either. Look, there must be something you can do. People don't just disappear. Well, it's a free planet. You say you two were planning to get married. Is it possible Mr. Skiles got cold feet? You think I'm making this whole thing up? No, no. What Officer Took is trying to say is that unless we have evidence of foul play, we can't do anything. Great. Thanks a lot for your help. Thanks. Oh, maybe I should give the coroner another call. See if anything's turned up. I don't understand. I got a good look at those boys. I should have given the sketch artist a better picture. Sorry, Bertha, memory fits not an exact science. Well, don't patronize me, officer. I think what Officer Haldane is trying to say. I know what he's saying. Those thugs frightened me more than I realized, and it's affected my memory of the incident. Look at this place. No wonder there's a crime wave round here. Yeah, you gotta speak to your landlord. This is pretty run down. Oh, you can say that again. Mrs. Fluss! Oh, hello, Borden. Gentlemen, this is my landlord, Randall Borden. Lieutenant Brogan and Officer Haldane. Nice to meet you, officers. Mrs. Luton just told me what happened. It must have been terrible. Are you all right?
Major, action on camera five. But surely you see the difference. I suppose, but it's pretty tenuous, Skid. I mean, language is about communication. Exactly. Huh? That's why it's so important to use it right. Not just content, pal. Form. That's the key. Old age is for the birds. If I'd been a few years younger, those punks would have been walking around with only two eyes right now. What is done is done, Bertha. Now drink up your cocoa. I've added a little potassium to realign your metabolism. I'm glad they invented you, Rocky. Sometimes it's as if Dex and Fluss had never died. Companionship is my function. Given that, Bertha, I would be grateful if you would inform me when you are expecting company. What on Altor are you talking about? Nice crib you got here, lady. Whatever you want, just take it and leave me alone. Oh, uh, now you don't really mean that, do you? <laughs> oh. <gasps> Is that what you wanted? <laughs> Rocky called him over Of course. <laughs> Wouldn't that have been easier? Sure, but not as much fun. <laughs> Why? Ah! Oh! The old bag go. Get me out. Sleep tight, Bertha. <laughs> now we'll leave you alone. <laughs> no, you can't leave me here. How about a nice cool drink? <laughs> They're on their way. Send in the unit. It's all right. Come on. Come on. It's all right. Tell me what happened. He came back. Uh. <laughs> I don't understand. This place was a mess. My Rocky! My Roca! There you are, Bertha. Whatever happened to you last night? Rocky! Don't you remember? The last event I recall was that you were popping up the stairs to see Mrs. Luton. You never returned. Oh, I don't understand. They were here! I swear, on my husband's grave! Mrs. Fluss, the attack yesterday was very traumatic. You think I'm losing my mind, don't you? No, no. Well, what if I've been locked in the trash room? Did I dream that, too? No. Look, I will admit something very weird is going on around here. You're telling me. 
Look, Mrs. Flust, why don't you stay with some friends for a few days? This is my home, officer. I'm not going anywhere. And I'm not going to a shelter either, so don't ask. Okay, all right. What do you want to do? I want protection. I am a citizen. I've paid more taxes than you've earned wages. Now that should come for something. This is for me, officer? Yeah. And I have a name. It's Jack. Thank you. Jack. You've got to be kidding me, Haldane. Come on, Captain. An attempt was made on her life. What evidence do you have for that? Were there any signs of a struggle? Well, no, but she has no reason to lie. Loneliness is a strange thing, Haldane. It feeds the imagination. Uh, Captain, for what it's worth, Mrs. Floss doesn't seem like the hysterical type. Yeah. What, what is this? You're police officers, not psychiatrists. If you want to help her, contact social services. Captain, wait. Something is definitely happening down there. What? Um, uh, Come on, Haldane, tell me. What is happening down there? Well, fellas, go catch me some criminals, huh? But... All right, Dando, and thanks for your help. Uh, that was the coroner's office. No one matching Scal's description. Well, this is a strange one. Why'd you say that? Well, suppose he did get cold feet. He wouldn't disappear completely, would he? Well, maybe we should put Slomo up to this, see what he can dig up. Hey, man, don't worry about Bertha. We'll make a couple of extra stops on patrol. The other guys will do the same. So you believe her, then? Well, I didn't say that. Look, why don't you go give her a call, and I'll run a background search on this new landlord, all right? Hey, lover boy, I hear you've been seeing an older woman. Don't start with me, Castle. Looks like somebody's doing pretty good, though, huh? You're not jealous, are you? <laughs> Say hi to Peter for me. Hey, Haldane, how's your love life? Excuse me? You seem pretty chummy with Bertha and the Beast. You know, Romick, I could answer that, but for some reason, I don't think you'd get the point. Hey, it was a joke. Yeah, well, from what I heard, you weren't much funnier in school, either. Oh, right. So you are bopping the beast. You know, why don't you shut up, Romick? Or maybe you'd like me to shut you up. Well, you want a piece of me? Yeah! Hey, 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 back off, back off. Come on, come on. It was just a joke, yeah. Lieutenant. Sit down. Officer Took, Officer Castle, I checked out your missing person with the Hall of Records, Interplanetary and Immigration. As far as I can determine, Mr. Skiles does not exist. Well, he looks pretty real to me. We should go and see the other guy in the picture. Randall Butler. This is a hell of a surprise, Mrs. Luton. I've got movers scheduled. I'm sorry, Mr. Borden. I've changed my mind. I have that right. Of course you do. But with all the crime around here, wouldn't you be better off in the I new like building? I like it here. I know people. Most of your neighbors have moved there already. And that should be an incentive. Well, the offer isn't going to be there forever. <gasps> Think about it. I'll be back later. You'll be wasting your time. I never change my mind. I could live somewhere like this. On your own? I didn't say that. Oh, we should get a visual on Butler's place any second now. Ah, oh, there we are. What's going on down there? Tookie! You have entered restricted military airspace. Change your heading to 096 and exit this fly zone. Oh, the nerve. This is officers Castle and Took, DCPD 88 Precinct, on official police business. Request permission to proceed. I repeat, change your heading and exit this fly zone. Failure to do so will result in the immediate use of force.
What the military choose to do is, quite frankly, none of our business. I want to know what you two were doing out there in the countryside on a low-priority missing persons case. Well, so we thought it odd that a guy who clearly existed had no history of ever being on Altor. I imagine you officers are familiar with illegal aliens. Now, how many of them do you suppose go around advertising the fact, huh? We've got no reason to believe the guy's an illegal. We talk with his fiance. Why do I get the idea that every officer in my staff is out there doing social work? Don't you think there might be a connection, sir? What connection? Between what's happening at Butler's farm and the disappearance of Skiles. Oh, for heaven's sake, you have no hard evidence of a crime. Leave it to missing persons, all right? Are you expecting company, Bertha? No. You would like me to open the door? No. You must remind me to monitor your caffeine intake. You're getting a little overwrought. Whoa, whoa. Easy, Bertha. You could hurt somebody with that thing. <sighs> That's the idea. Well, don't just stand there. Come on in. I just came by to see how you were doing. Damn cops. They're everywhere. What if he gets in the way? We've just got to let things take their course and keep an eye on our boy. Oh, it's you again. Hello there, Mrs. Luton. Have you reconsidered yet? I'm not interested. This is my home. I'm sorry to hear that. You see, you leave me no choice. I have to persuade you. Oh, no. Right. Get out of my home. Oh, I don't no. Get off me. You can't let this continue. The only way to find out who this Peter character is is to ask her. To be honest, I think I'm afraid of what the answer would be. But an old gal will give you a bit of advice. If you want to be happy, you have to face your fears. Oh, no! Oh, please let me go! You know, please the views here are go. great! Not no. just great, they're spectacular! Oh, no. <laughs> you know, she's a lucky lady yeah. living in a place with a view like this. <laughs> you take care now. <laughs> I brought her her dinner every day. She always complained. But she always ate it. Mrs. Fluss, I just heard. I'm so sorry. Suicide's a hell of a thing. Never. Not in a month of blue moons. It's always so, so unexpected. I think what she's saying is that there is no way Mrs. Luton would have killed herself. What are you talking about, officer? I'm talking about the fact that we feel there's a connection between this incident and the systematic harassment of tenants in your building. Frankly, I'm shocked that you should make such a suggestion at a time like this. I came here to offer my condolences to Thanks Mrs. Thanks very Plus. much for your help, Mr. Borden. We'll let you know if we need anything. All right, okay. Why didn't you arrest him? It's not that easy. What'd you find out in the background check? Borden strictly legit. Bought the building outright last month. Certified credit package, 26-hour electronic escrow, the usual. 
I'll tell you something. If he's clean, I'm a Valerian glue dog. Yeah, well, listen to this. He filed a demolition permit with City Hall, but he's not planning on building anything in its place. Hey, Lieutenant, we found this in the victim's hand. I've seen that before. Those thugs that attacked me, one of them was wearing a jacket with a button just like that. They murdered her. They killed my best friend. Bertha, um, you said they came back? They sure did. Look, if we try a memory fit, do you think you could remember their faces this time? Every nasty detail. Right, guys. Nailed them at the shuttle gate. Interplanetary. Tickets in hand. Two minutes later, and they'd have been nothing more than a memory fit. <laughs> Throw them in the cage. Fatten them up. Hey, watch Brogan it. Brogan and Haldane are on their way down right now. Very hungry. Guess this means you get home in time for your mommy's curfew. Very funny. Let's not scare them too quickly. All right, then I'll lose the cattle prod, and we'll start with the thumb screws. Sounds good. What gives? Where are they? Interrogation? They're, uh, they're gone, Lieutenant. What? Yeah, a couple of military types just walked right in and took them. Hey, you, hold it right there. Lieutenant Brogan, Officer Halday. If you have any questions, see your Captain. Who the hell are you? Captain Weldon. M-R-A. What does military intelligence want with these two? Forget it, Lieutenant. This is no longer your problem. Since when is murder in our precinct not our problem? Since now. As far as you're concerned, these two are never arrested, and this never happened. Talk to your captain if you want. I'll do that. This isn't over. It's over, Brogan. What? We catch the criminals and you let them go? I didn't let them go. I handed them over to the military. Just tell me why. I don't like this any more than you do. Twice already they've interfered with my command. But as long as they don't actually break the law, we have to stand clear. Hell, even if they do, we have to stand clear. Yeah, how far back is clear? All the way. There's nothing I can do. I'm sorry, gentlemen. <laughs> hey, Jane. <laughs> what was the story yesterday on that military plane? <sighs> Well, you tell us. We were flying along, minding our own business. Which was what? Well, we wanted to talk to a farmer in connection with a missing persons case. His name is Endro Skiles. It's the guy on the right. Wait a minute. The guy on the left? That's Borden, the landlord. Borden? His name's Butler. Yeah, he's the farmer. Yeah, they're both the same. You know what? We're working on the same case here. This is definitely not over yet. Cyclopa. He's torching the place. Can you believe this? <laughs> I can believe anything. It's as good a way as any to get the building down. But what about the old lady? She's still up there in her apartment. Collateral damage. There's a lot at stake here, Weldon. We can't interfere with Butler. He's all we've got. Oh, no. Look who's here. Get back in your cruiser, fellas. Not a chance. We're on legitimate police business here. Put them back in their cruiser. If they refuse to leave, shoot them. Good try, pal. We're checking on a private citizen, then we're out of here. <laughs> Too late for that, I'm afraid. Too late for what? Go home, officers. You don't need to know anymore. The hell I don't. 
No, let him go. It won't make any difference. Where the heart is, you'll find another one. Damn you! Butler's dead. You just had to interfere. Tried to save him. We saw what happened. You were watching. You were watching from the beginning. Who was Butler? Or was it Borden? What was he? You don't want to know. Humor me, Weldon. Is there something under the building? Something he wanted? That's classified. It's all classified. Oh, great. So you just stand back and watch innocent people die, and nobody ever knows. Lieutenant, if a few citizens have to die, ten, a hundred, hell, even a thousand, and we save the lives of a billion others, we have to stop it. Well, if it's that bad, then people have the right to know what it is. You don't know, do you? You don't either. Good news, buddy. I found a place for you to live. My neighbor's moving out. Uh, I don't need a place. I live with my mom. Well, what about your quest for freedom? Your, your life without curfews? But what would my mom do without me? I mean, who would clean the compactor? That's what your dad's for, Orrin. Right. <laughs> hey, uh, Haldane. Uh, what I wanted to say was, uh, I mean, uh, maybe I was a little bit out of line about you and Mrs. Fluss. Hmm, you know, that's funny. Bertha told me that she meant everything she said about you. Huh? Hey! How's Peter? He's fine. Mm -mm. Um, we ought to clear this up. Uh, look, um... 
I just want you to know if there's somebody you're really interested in that I understand. And I want you to know that I only give you a hard time because, well, because I, you know, I care about you. I care about you too, really. So who's Peter? He's my brother. <laughs> Your brother? Your brother? Yes. <laughs> Sorry to break this up, Haldane. Podley won't budge. What, you mean on the butler case? The arson squad says the fire was accidental. The coroner says butler was burned too badly to autopsy, and the media seemed to have slept through the whole damn thing. It's like they said, it never happened. Am I at headquarters? How may I help you? Yes, Lieutenant Brogan, DCPD. Let me speak to Captain Weldon. One moment, please. I'm sorry, there is no Captain Weldon in this command. Well, maybe you can tell me how I can contact her. Negative. I have no record of any Captain Weldon in any department. Are you sure you have the right name? No, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about anything. Thanks for your help. You believe in ghosts? 